the most obsolete idea is go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, and invest for the long term in the stock market. See, why would you save money when they're printing trillions of dollars? The gap between the 1% and 99% is massive. You see, it's not just money. You have to step back and look at the bigger picture. In every one of us is a poor person. There's still a poor person inside me. There's also a middle class person, and the middle class person wants security. They want that steady paycheck. And there's a rich person. And they're all inside of us, except that it's not taught. You're taught to go to school, get a job, and get a paycheck. You're not taught to how to get rich. So the entrepreneur is not so much the business. The entrepreneur is really the mindset and the skill sets and the different set of rules. Small business does not operate in the same rules as big business. Entrepreneur is a mindset first, a skill set, and rules. And depending upon whether you're an employee or a small business, mm -hmm. the rules are different. The mindsets are different. The skill sets are different. Instead of get out of debt, I get into debt. You know, I just refinanced 300 million in debt. I went from 5% to 2.5% interest. I made a fortune. Every month, more money comes in because my cost of money has gone down. So while some Especially financial today. experts are saying get out of debt, I'm saying learn how to use debt. Mm -hmm. See, when I came back from seven, in Vietnam in January of 73, mm -hmm. the first thing my rich dad said to me was go to school to learn how to invest in real estate. It wasn't real estate, it was how to use debt and taxes. Debt and taxes make the rich richer. Debt and taxes make the poor and middle class poor. So all the rich guys who are doctors and lawyers or you know, those guys, they're getting creamed, and they don't know why. Doctors are getting creamed. Oh yeah, they make him more money, but the take home is less. Sure. You know, I, I, my doctor just yelled at me, he was happy, he says, oh, guess what, I finally made a million dollars. And I said, yeah, this was just three weeks ago. <laughs> and so I said, yeah, well, well, how much you pay in tax? He says, 750,000 in taxes. Mm -hmm. So his net was about 400,000. That's not bad, but when I make a million bucks, I keep a million bucks. And the reason is because I don't make it by working for money. See, if you work for money, you're taxed. Right? So the reason is because as entrepreneurs, I have more control over my income, how much I make, and how much I pay in taxes. And because I'm an entrepreneur, as well as an investor in real estate, I pay zero tax. So every time I make, let's say, a million dollars as an entrepreneur, I immediately invest in real estate. I have a four to one step up. So I put a million dollars in real estate, I get four million the bank. That's why I love banks. But the banks are screwing everybody else. You know, terrible. But it's good for me.